Hello guys, how is it going? It's Faker coming at you once again. And we have Arkshan. Uh, Runeto is going to be releasing another champion alongside this champion release. That is actually ridiculous and super exciting. Uh, maybe we might even get another one. Uh, who knows? But Arkshan is a new Shurima champion coming out. So let's go ahead and let's break him down. Okay, so Arkshan is a 2 mana 2 2 champion from Shurima with quick attack. When he summoned or strikes, summon a Warlord's Palace or advance it one round. To level up Arkshan, you would have needed to see Warlord's Palace finish its cooldown. Now, Warlord's Palace is a one mana landmark that will enter the field. That, once it's finished, this countdown of eight will create a relic of power in hand. You could also reduce the countdown of this by targeting allies or simply probably using advanced cards. Now, the relic of power is going to be a pick one multiple choice effect, predict, then draw one, summon a sandstorm charger, or grant allies plus one. Already, Arkshan's looking to be like a very similar champion to Aphelios in that he's extremely flexible, uh, similar play patterns, and he's probably going to find multiple homes already. Uh, he already seems fantastic, just let alone just this simple effect right here. But Arkshan does get a little bit more crazy when he flips. So once Warlord's Palace has finished his cooldown, countdown, pardon me, uh, Arkshan will have a level 2 form that has a very similar effect, but this time you will summon a Warlord's Horde. Uh, and then you'll be advancing it or advancing it. Now, Warlord's Horde, if we just go down here for a moment, is going to be a similar countdown, similar relic effect, similar landmark effect. But then you'll get the Sentinel's Horde in hand instead, which will be another multiple choice effect, but you'll cast the Absolver's Resurrection, a Fount of Power, or a Shield of Sentinels. Now, these are all going to be focus speed spells, and they're all going to be extremely powerful individually. Now, Firstly, the Absorber's Resurrection is going to be a grant all enemies vulnerable and then create in hand a zero cost copy of the strongest ally that has died this game. So Arkshan is a pretty ridiculous early game unit, which will also flow very nicely into the late game, getting some pretty ridiculous value. Uh, the Absorber's Resurrection seems pretty powerful and there's probably going to be lots of cool combos you can do with it. This is probably going to be one that an, an option that gets picked quite often, I would believe. We also have the font, font, uh, font of power, Fount of Power. Draw two, your cards cost one less this round. Already it seems that you can build Arkshan decks multiple different ways depending on the kind of like which of the Sentinel's Horde choices you would like to choose because they're all pretty uh, ridiculous. We also have the Shield of Sentinels. Grant your champions everywhere, Spell Shield and plus two, plus two. Now this is probably going to be one of the less options, like the less common options you probably see picked up frequently, just simply because it's not immediate value impacting the current uh, turn or the board state. Now, Shield of Sentinels might have some wacky combos you can do that I might be overlooking, but ultimately, I see this impacting games a lot less frequently than the other two options you might choose from. All, all of them do seem pretty powerful. As I said, Shield of Sentinels, maybe less frequently, but the Absolver's, uh, Absolver's Resurrection and Font of Power have some pretty significant like impacts on the game. I think Font of Power, you might be able to have some pretty crazy swing turns with it. Zero mana draw two, then your cards cost one less this round. I can't imagine what kind of possibilities you have with this. Same with the Absolver's Resurrection, although the Absolver's Resurrection uh, seems like it has a lot more significant uh, ending of games immediately. All options, pretty cool. Uh, very nice. We have the Grappling Hook, which is also going to be Arkshan's signature spell. An ally you have targeted this round strikes an enemy. Uh, so already, I mean, it's a three mana strike effect, which is pretty powerful. It is at slow speed though. And then you obviously have to be playing other cards alongside it. The hook seems okay. I think it might see some niche value. It might not be main decked in some decks, uh, but depending on how we ultimately decide to build Arkshan, I mean, you have multiple ways of doing it. So. Grappling Hook might see some play. I don't ultimately know how long it will see significant value for at first before you experiment with it. And then ultimately there might be some other better options that don't rely on a secondary card to kind of activate it. Well, we have the Absolver here, which is going to be a two mana burst speed spell, which will give an ally plus two plus one this round. And if you've leveled a champion this game, create the Absolver's Return in hand. Absolver's Return is going to be another fleeting burst speed spell, give an ally, Overwhelm and plus two plus one this round. I mean, let, this card alone can kind of justify the hook. And maybe these cards do see play outside of just Arkshan. Because the Absorber does seem like a pretty good card. And then you compare that with the hook. And that's pretty good combo, I guess. 
Akshan already seems like a champion that's going to find multiple homes. I believe some of the decks I like to experiment with a little bit is maybe going to be pairing Akshan alongside, for example, Talia. I think they might be able to do some pretty cool stuff. I think Akshan with Echo can do some pretty cool stuff with the like predicting that you get from Akshan and the value that you can kind of spit out because Echo uh, was typically being paired alongside Zillion. And although Zillion was nice, I don't think it was as necessary, but he was a champion that made the most sense now, all of a sudden, you do have Arkshan if you're splashing that Shurima and PNZ region, which can provide you just like a kind of different game plan. Uh, also, I mean, outside of just Shurima alone, I think you'd be able to pair Arkshan up with a lot of regions. I mean, probably the more common ones we'll see is uh, people maybe playing Arkshan in a more aggressive deck, looking to maybe splash Ionia and use some of those uh, Cigna spells to target their own allies. Um, outside of that, I mean, could there possibly be an Akshan and Viego deck since these champions are being released together? I don't think so. They do do different things. But um, yeah, I think the options here for Akshan are uh, limitless. And I would say Akshan's looking to be another 5 out of 5 champion. Akshan and Viego already seem fantastic. I, I, I really look forward to playing with these cards. Like I think I'm going to first start with Akshan Talia. Maybe for a bit of fun. Might not ultimately end up being the best. Who knows? What do you guys think? Have a good day.